I know someone very special that would love an arowana. Let's go ahead and see how this arowana is doing. Here we step and stare at this arowana. Wow, how beautiful the albino arowana is. We got up on here. How you doing, kids? Oh! So, I gotta bring this puppy inside because I was not prepared for the uh, arowana. I was only prepared for the papu. So, ooh, try not to spill too much water inside. You sure? All right, so here we are. This is gonna be the scary part. Arowana's like to jump. You guys all know every time I've done an arowana video, rescue pickup by, arowana goes left and right and all over the circles. It's gonna be wild. So get him in here. Make sure he's okay and head home. But let's see what we can do. What do you got? Oh my gosh! This is gonna be crazy. We have a little ladder or something? Yeah. This one you got? Oh, this is the only that we have, yeah. guys. This is the only that we have for this arowana. This arowana is gonna jump out on the ground. We don't want a situation like the poppy where it flew away. All right. Okay. So we're gonna put this right here. Make sure we have a good access point for the arowana. We're going to go ahead and check on our Paku. Paku, how you doing? Doing good. Look at him. They're doing good. It's probably the last time you'll be able to see them before we have them at the house because the air one is going to jump everywhere. So, whoo! Get a ladder? Yeah, yeah, he's ready to go. He's ready to go. Let's take this thing up over here. Got to make sure I have a good access point to get out. Oh, he cracked the top part. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. I was just talking about it the other day. Oh my gosh. Here, pass me that so you guys can see where he cracked that. Look at this. This thing's a savage. He cracked the back. Arowanas are super powerful. That's why you have to have lids. Look at that guy. He's ready to go. Buddy, you ready to come home? Yes, I'm ready to come home. All right. Here we go. We're going to take one lid at a time. Because if he flies out, this guy's a really jumpy guy. Oh, all right. Okay. 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 We got it. We understand. Ray, I might need your help. All right, here we go. We just gotta make sure we don't have them come on this side because now there's no lid. And if that's the case, he's fine. Now what we got? Nice. That's safer for him instead of glass. Yeah. I got him in. Got him in. Ready? I need you to open that cooler right now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. He's in. And I have a golf ball. Three, two, one. All right, it's nice, smooth here. Come check him out right here, right here. Look at this beautiful arrow one that's gonna be going home to other me, catch them fishing or wild world farley. Nice! We did it! Right there, bro. What a wild fishing this was, guys. Ray, you're the man. Ray T-A-G-E-S on, on Instagram. Yeah. I'm okay, sure. I'm gonna go ahead and link him below. Follow him. Ladies, you need a boyfriend, he's right here for you. He's looking for you. If you're down in South Miami, you know who to hit up, especially if you like to fish. So while we're driving back, we're transporting all the fish in the back back there. I was thinking, what are we gonna do with this arowana? I know someone very special that would love an arowana. So I think Zach, catch him all fishing, would love a little surprise gift. I mean, he did get me that big Paku. I mean, he kind of pranked me with that. But with this, it'd be like a thank you for, uh, I don't know. I just need an excuse to go ahead and uh, just give him this arowana. So we're gonna go ahead and actually put it in his pond. All right guys, so here we are. Hello babies, look at all the koi. That's the one I caught a long time ago on this channel. And that orange one was there that we went after a long time ago. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Nice little koi, koi pond. I wonder if all the goldfish... Oh, look, there's Big Juan. Oh, my God. Big Juan is here. Hello. I've missed you so much. I've had that goldfish forever. It's been going back and forth between Zach and me. And this is one thing I don't miss. The plane. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and see what there is to see. Hello, everyone. Look at this, oh my God. Look how big this, Zach got an arowana? Zach got a massive albino arowana, CJ. I'm out here trying to surprise him and he went ahead and treated himself to a massive albino arowana. Look at this peacock, so spooky. Oh my gosh, here's big, big Paku, the big ones he's caught and everything. It's the first time CJ went ahead and see the pond for the first time basically, if I can speak English. But anyways, dude, he got an albino arowana. This thing is gorgeous. It's like the one we feed at the tropical fish farm. What the heck? What are we? So much for a surprise. Look at this thing. 
The red tails are in there, big red tails. One, two. Where's the third one over there? Yeah, the third one's over there. Look at that. Big P. Slam. There's the other Jaguar, probably state record. Look at these guys. Hold on, you know what? Let me turn off the pump. So now you guys can see, look at everybody. Look at that. Wow. Big, big, big Baku. So those are, it's gonna look like that in our pond here, but with smaller versions. Then we have the Jag, red tails. Look at the three red tails. They're gorgeous. It's kind of shady right here. But man, this arowana. Dude, I wanted to surprise him with that, but I don't blame him. Look at this. I wonder where he got it from. Look at that. I had, I pretty much just got back from Texas not too long ago and haven't been able to see all his stuff, but I didn't know he got an arowana. Look at that. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. And the water level is a lot lower than before. I think he, oh, he had a bigger grate over there to make sure that there's a lot more water going through. Because last time when the water level was really high, um, you can check it in his video, but I found the arowana all the way over here, deep in this hole, which sucks. This arowana is going to be living a, a better life in here in comparison to like a tank or something. Oh, definitely. So this is the move, well, what the heck? Oh, look at the little Oscar. It's so cute. But yeah, I like this better. The arowana can't jump out, especially since he put flex tape right here. That's smart. I mean, the arowana might get stuck, right? No, it'll be fine. They're nice and slimy, but look at this gorgeous thing. It's so gorgeous. Hello. Look at this. I can't get over it. I've always wanted an albino arowana. And Wild World of Farley has a couple. So now Zach has one. I'm the only one that doesn't have one. Darn. The beautiful arowana. Here we step and stare at this arowana. Wow. How beautiful the albino arowana is. It's pretty solid. It's like a 20 incher. But I don't want to go ahead and put that arowana in here because I don't want to fight. Cause there's a lot of tilapias and everything and with arowanas you know how it really rolls it's like you have to use odd numbers you can't just have two or four it has to be like one three five you guys do the numbers and everything but yeah it has to be pretty much all odd numbers look at this gorgeous thing but my boy is still gonna go ahead and get that arowana look at that peacock what a beast he's still gonna get that arowana we're gonna go ahead and actually put that in the front pond with the koi Hell yeah. so hopefully he comes back and gets it and then he decides what he wants to do with it because we still have fish in the car that we have to transport to the house this is like a little side mission. What, the albino pleco? Albino pleco. It's so cool. He's getting albino fish in here. You see that pink tilapia? It's so cool. Pink tilapia is super dope. Well, that's what that is? Yeah, that's the tilapia, bro. <laughs> what a little kid. Keep your hands out of the pond. Today on National Geographic, we have an albino arahuana. As you can see, it has a nice yellow banana flavor for I like the bananas. And on top of that, look as it gracefully swims through the water. Beautiful Abano Juana. Never seen one before in just this pristine condition. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta focus. That was a really bad accent. Okay, so, after looking at everything, we decided, like I said, to put the Arowana at this pond right here. And Zach should be coming here anytime soon to make some videos or something, so he'll see it. And then he'll decide where to go with that Arowana. But it's gonna be perfect because all that's in here are koi and goldfish. That's all that's in here. And some minnows. So that arowana that eat all those minnows get really big and perfect. So the only thing that's really tough is that we still have Paku in here. And it's still really heavy with all these Paku in here and all this water. So I'm really spooked about opening this cooler and the arowana jumping down. So that's why I'm bringing it really, really close. Hey, let's go ahead and see how this arowana is doing. Doing good. Doing really, really, really good. And the Pakus are fine. So we're gonna go ahead and close that real quick. This might happen really quick. No acclimation or anything. The water is about, about the same. Oh yeah, it's about identical to his tank from before. All right guys, so the time has come where we go ahead and add this beautiful, beautiful fish. Super stressed, easy, 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 Arowana. Easy. All right, here we go. Look at this. It's gorgeous. I'm trying to show you guys and get out of the shadow. There you go. All right, we got the arowana, not moving. So we're gonna go ahead and move this guy in right now. Look at this. Swim away, my love. Oh my goodness, let me get out of the shadow. Look at that beautiful arowana in this pond. Look at that guy. Doing good, bro? How silver he is and everything. Nice little surprise for catching him off fishing. I hope he enjoys it. There's plenty of minnows as you see. Don't get spooked, goldfish. You're going to be fine. Let's take another look. 
that arowana is gonna be so perfect in this pond. They're surface swimmers and it's gonna be so cool to see them going around in circles and everything. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and head home and actually put our monster fish in the brand new pool pond. Uh, oh God, all right, we got up on here. How you doing kids? You doing good? Doing good. How about you over here? Hello, my children. So we have one, two. Oh! Oh, okay. Three, four. I, I don't know why I screamed so hard like something terrible happened. <laughs> but yet, yeah, and then now we're gonna have five. Stop playing dead, you're okay. We know you're okay. Your fins are moving and you're breathing. Alright guys, so time has come when we go ahead and add our beautiful fish. Look at the size of the Paku. Oh, they're making a mess everywhere. Here we have our first Paku guys. Look at them. So throw them in. Look at them in the light. Look at them and glisten. Welcome to your new home, my friend. See ya. There he goes, one Paku. That's cool. We're gonna have a total of five Paku. Here's Paku number two. Paku number two, here we go. Look at that. Look at that beast. Look at him in the light. Isn't that so cool? Look Origin. at those teeth. Oh! I was trying to show you the teeth, but he kicked. I'd rather him fall into the pond than on the floor. Alrighty. Got the two little guys. Doing everything in my power not to get duckweed in there. I don't want this to blow up in the system because I don't want a duckweed pond. So here we go. Easy, oh, oh. These guys are, these guys are feisty. Be careful guys, you might get splashed. Gotta get the right grip on them. Got it, easy. Look at them go. Look at those teeth. Human teeth, really sharp too, look at that. You guys see that? Yep. Oh my gosh, all right, here we go. Welcome to your new home, my friend. See ya later. Into the flow you go. Nice. Last one, guys. This guy knows now his buddy's missing. Don't give me a hard time, we're friends. You shall go into the pond right now. Here you go. Now you're in here. Now you can hit and flail. Look at this, they're straight monsters. Check it out. Look, as soon as we went ahead and ended the Paku, our boy is finally up and about, and he hears my voice and he goes back down. But. Check it out, my little Paku army. That's so cool. And look, the cichlid army is over there like, ah, please spare us. Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and stay around. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right on the top. Get those notifications to go ahead, get notifications on the channel. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah.